All right, I've got a, a newly installed pin return sock chute. I want to just uh, give a little bit of tips of advice when you do install this. Uh, make sure that your hose clamp at the top here, just make sure that that part, hopefully you put it on the outside where you can access it easier. Seems like every one of these that's ripped whenever I originally go to work on it, that hose clamp is all the way around on the inside for some reason. I don't know why, but it's always there. Uh, now about the chute itself, you want to align how the, the, the exit, the exit of the chute as parallel with the elevator as possible. If you point the chute forward, like towards the bowlers area, this direction, then as the pins go down and out, it'll swing it to the back and it'll be hitting against your pin deflector board bracket and the board itself and it will start cutting into the base of your pin chute and uh, you wouldn't want to point it towards the elevator some people think if I point it towards the elevator it's getting the pins into the elevator a little better well actually what happens in with it pointing towards the elevator when the pins go through it it swings a little towards the impact strip but it's the back swing you got to worry about. When the pin's already ejected out, this chute will swing back towards the elevator itself. Sometimes it will snag into the elevator shovels, ride the elevator up, and then get jammed into everything. So remember, when you're installing your pin chutes, your pin return chutes, put them as, make the exit as parallel with the pin shovels as possible.